I mean, there are a few people in the industry that I've met over the years of touring where I know that they're going to try to their best to put me in the best situation I can be in, but everyone's not like that, you know? And there's just so many layers of intangibles that can pop up. Um, even one of my best audiences and my best markets is Boston. Uh, but we're so, so much so that when I had an album coming out, um, Soul Veggies, which was based on a Boston label, uh, Storyville, the rapper on the album, is, was living in Boston. Um, and that Boston is my number one city for a fan attendance. We decided to do the Soul Veggies album release party in Boston. Now, I don't even live in Boston, but I'm just always so confident that people are going to come out. We do a show, and then that week, it's the biggest blizzard of the year <laughs> in Boston. Like, ridiculously low temperatures, high snow, like, just a crazy day. We get there, maybe 50 people, which is, I think, a generous number considering how bad it was outside like it was literally treacherous buses stopped running like they told people to not go outside so Thanks, for out. any other time i'm sure this place would have been you know packed out you know but you know but the fact that those people came first i was so upset it's just like oh man man like why snow now why this little bit of people oh man but it just showed me the un you know just the just the uneasy nature of the business, you know, like you just don't know what's going to happen. So even when there's a short thing, it's not. I have a friend who told me in his music business class, he learned that when booking shows, if you're worried about everything, then it's probably nothing to worry about. But if you don't worry, then you're in trouble. <laughs>